everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to be doing my September TV yard. Let's get going. So August has been a pretty interesting month. Um, I think it did pretty well regardless. Uh, there were some parts where I kind of went slow with the reading. Just because I was still focusing on my book, which is The Bound of Curse. Link will be down below if you're interested in fantasy, magical realism, enchanting spells, and magical quests. You have it all, y'all, so link will be down below. So, also make sure to, sus to subscribe to my newsletter because a lot of good things are coming, so you don't want to miss. Also, don't be surprised if I'm asking for your birthday in my newsletter. Um, that's one of the surprises that will be happening in the newsletter, but you will find out when you subscribe. <laughs> so anyways, let's get going to my September memes. So the first book is Drawn Down the Moon by PC Cast and Christine Cast, a mystical school and mysterious death and a magical romance. When Nightingale isn't supposed to have any elemental powers, born of the magical parents, but not under one of the four faded astrological full moons, she is destined for a life as a mundane, right up until she starts growing on her 18th birthday, and a heartbeat when's life is turned upside down, and she's suddenly leaving her home for the mystical academia of De La Luna, a secret magical school on a hidden island off the Seattle coast. Lee Young has always known about his future at the academy. He has three goals, pass the trials, impress the moon council, and uphold his family's reputation, but he wasn't expecting to be attending alongside the girl he's been secretly in love with for as long as he can remember. As Ren and Lee are thrown into the academy's grueling trials, they quickly learn there's something different and dangerous about the school this year. Ren will have to navigate a web of secrets, prophecies, and murder, and Lee will have to decide what to protect, his family's legacy or the girl he loves. That's what it's the family, but I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I actually had about mixed feelings about this, so I'm hoping it will be okay for me. But the cover is really gorgeous. And so, I don't know, just really so beautiful. I mean, look at that full moon. It's just so pretty. <laughs> it also shines, let me see if I can do it. I hope you saw it. <laughs> yeah, I like purple and black. Mwah. <laughs> purple is my favorite color as well as red. But like this combination is everything. And my next book is The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song. Raised to obey, destined to rebel. The three kingdoms are at war, but Melian's father refuses to enter the imperial draft. Trapped by his opium addiction, he plans to send Melian for her drowning, but when Melian discovers her husband to be is another violent, ill tempered man, she realizes that nothing will change for her unless she takes matters into her own hands. The very next day, she disguises herself as a boy and enlists in her father's place. In the army, Melian's relentless hard work brings her recognition, friendship, and a growing closeness with Skye, a prince turned training partner. But has she simply exchanged one prison for another? As the kingdom travels toward destructions, Meelin begins to have visions of a sea dragon spirit who offers her true power and freedom as a, at a deadly price. With the future of the three kingdoms hanging in the balance, Meelin will need to decide what to trust. Sky, who inspires her loyalty and love, the sea dragon spirit, who has his own murky agenda, or an infuriating enemy prince who makes her question everything she once knew about her kingdom, about her own heart. So I'm put it's like really pretty, like the cover and splayed edges, and like, yeah, I know I showed it to you before, but look at it all in glory. Look at that, black and gold, that's another beautiful combination. It's classy, elegant, sophisticated, and got it all, y'all. That was loud. <laughs> And my next book, I've talked about this so many times, it's Amy, Guardians of the Dawn by S.J. Jones. I almost butchered the author's name, I apologize. So a long story short, we're following Amy who has been exiled all her life and she is taking care of a mentally ill father who keeps rambling about some kind of prophecies, but is he actually rambling or is it actually some truth to it? We're gonna find out. I'm just kidding, but so basically, uh, so then 
The father went to like this castle kind of thing and then he took a branch that he knew wasn't supposed to and as a debt to be repaid, Amy took his place. So that's when the Beauty and the Beast comes along because Amy sacrificed for herself instead. So, you know, so the father didn't have to do it. Um, and then, yeah, so now she has to find like, this text up for something. So, yeah, so now, like, she has to, like, find this cure for the beast. And then, but there's another problem because the uh, demons are kept growing and so that she, she would be able to fight them off. So, all that good stuff. So, that's why Amy comes in. And I'm assuming Zala will, like, you know, look for her and ask her to join her team. Just like how Santa Moon did in the anime show, so... Honestly, this is still pretty cool, so... I'm happy we have a series that's on Sailor Moon. Cause that's like my favorite anime show, so... Yeah. <laughs> my next one is the sequel to Silver in the... Uh, it is Silver in the Bone by Axe Roger Bracket, and this is The Mirror of Beasts. With the dream of Avalon and Mirrors, Tamsin and her friends are all that stand in the way of Lord's death plan to unleash the horrors of Anwen on the world of the living. As the wild hunt comes a bloody path across continents, Tamsin is mustering allies, tracking down powerful artifacts, and traversing new other lands in search of a way to stop him. Legend tells of a mirror of beasts, a powerful enough to trap even Lord Death in its accursed glass, but the mirror is not all that it seems. Tamsin must confront her own darkest secrets if she hopes to tap the mirror's strength to defeat her enemies. Ancient mythology bleeds into contemporary action, and scars of the past are torn asunder by a star-crossed love that refuses to die quietly. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get this book too, so. And my last book, um, I actually don't have it because I bought it, so I have to actually go pick up tomorrow. And this is a sequel to A Trial of Sorceress, and this is A Hunt of Shadows by Alice Kova. Aira is now a champion of the Solaria's Empire. She is off to a land she has only dreamed about, but a nightmare awaits her. Her sworn enemy has escaped, his allies are powerful and deadly, and Ira finds herself tangled in the dangerous web of the other city of Ryzen, while the mysterious code of shadows and lethal pillars battle for the fate of the kingdom. But vengeance has a price. When Ira is captured by her enemies, it's not only her life, but the lives of her friends and the man she loves most at stake. The woman she was won't be enough to turn the tides churning against her from long before she was born. She will have to become something more as she she will have to love deeper and fight fiercer than ever before. The only way to kill a legendary champion will be to become one herself. So yeah, so it was it was quite Air Awakened is what this is what this series is like spin off. So definitely you don't need to read Awa Air Awakens, but you will be spoiled by the original series, but the author said you don't have to read Air Awakened, so I'm taking a shot so far, I understand what's happening, but I still feel like something is missing. So, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up Air Awakens, but um, yeah. So, I, I am reading that book because I really did enjoy the first book, so like while it's still fresh in my memory, might as well just keep on continue reading it, so... Yeah, and this might be actually my first time to actually complete a series in total. At least I am hoping. Because usually if I read the first book and then I buy a single, I almost never complete it. <laughs> and so, and that is that. But yeah, that's all the books I have for my September. Let me know what you're reading for September. And please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!